What's going on, you Boy, back at it again with another fitness vlog. Today is we're, we're working on. We're going heavy. Okay, we're going heavy. 475, 10 sets, two reps. Then moving on to squats, 230 pounds for 10 reps, three sets. Bench, um, I forgot, but I'll put it up there. And uh, and then some stiff leg like deadlifts. So it's a short day, but it's an intense day. Uh, let me show you guys my new toy. I don't know if you can see it, but new camera, my Logan camera. Thanks, babe, because my girlfriend got me this. So thank you. But yeah, let's get into this uh, this fitness vlog. Peace. Come on. Come on.
What's going on drillers? Today I'm going to show you how to increase your speed and the sharpness of your drill. Okay, I get this question a lot and uh, for a while, it took me a while to kind of figure out how to explain the way I do it. But I figured it out in three steps, okay? So I'm gonna go over this and hopefully this is, this is gonna be helpful for you guys because it's helpful for me, okay? So let's get started. All right, so the first step uh, for, or the first, you know, key point. So we're not gonna be doing any spinning in this part, okay? This one is just gonna be kind of like drill manuals, if, if you must say. So we're gonna do a lot of this and a lot of, a lot of this TikTok motion, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the motion doesn't require any spinning, okay? So what I like to do, I like to pick a segment or something uh, that doesn't require spinning um, and do that over and over. So let, let's just say it's this movement. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, simple enough, right? Now, I'm, I'm gonna do that over and over again. And every time, I'll increase speed just a little bit, okay? But as I'm increasing the speed, I'm also maintaining my stiffness and my bearing as well. So, watch. Slow. Slow. Okay, now as you see, the, the speed obviously went faster and faster the, the more I, I did it. But while I'm doing it, I'm still focusing on every single movement as it should be, okay? So if I'm gonna bring it to the, to the left, sharp. Bring it down, sharp. Bring it up, sharp. Grab, 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 okay? And then once I get that muscle memory, of really sliding my hands together, then I can increase the speed, okay? And and drop and after practicing it for you know most multiple multiple times, you'll get faster. Boom, 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 boom. And what this does, it's gonna it's gonna get your mind ready to react more quickly and it's gonna get that muscle memory nice, nice and tight, okay? So, and that's gonna lead me to the next step. And, uh, uh. all right, so in this next uh, sequence variation, uh, we're gonna actually be doing spinning, okay? Now, the, the, when, you, when you are learning how to spin a little faster, okay, you're, you have to get used to doing the same movements over and over again, okay? So let's say I'm doing just a simple, two end spin order arms. Okay, simple enough, right? So I'm gonna do this motion, this movement, I'm sorry, over and over again until it becomes so simple that I can do it pretty much blindfolded if I have it, you know what I'm saying? So, as I get set, again, just like when we did the TikTok motion, uh, we're getting that muscle memory down. Once you have that movement down, so down packed, increase the speed a little, but maintain your sharpness. Okay, let's increase the speed. A little bit faster. One more time. See, as you can, uh, so as you can see, once I've gotten this move down pat, and I understand where my hand placement needs to be and how hard I need to stop it, okay, that's when you can increase the speed, okay? Speed, the speed of the rifle is nothing without the, the sharp stopping power, okay? And your body control and all that, okay? So, if I, if I do the same movement, but I stop it like that, it's not gonna get that same effect. So, for instance, if you're doing that movement specifically, you want you want to lock out almost almost lock out your arm completely out, not too much because you you don't want to lock it out completely. You want to give it that slight bend, but you want to flex your arm as you're doing it. So here, see, slight bend, and I'm stopping at the same spot every time. Okay, and that just goes with every, any move, whether you're doing 
So flex it, okay? You wanna stop at the same spot every time, okay? All right, and the last step is body control. Posture, bearing, all that, okay? When you are practicing these movements, you know, whether whether you're starting off slow, make sure you, you keep your body in control at the, the entire time. If, if you're doing a porch spin, I don't want to see no, you know, your body swing from left to right, okay? Or even if you're doing a double, okay? When you're throwing that double, keep your body in one in T form. Your T form is, is probably the most important part in right flex this drill. So when I'm doing whether it's this move or this move. My upper body, my T form does not break. It is, I don't sway from left to right, I don't go back and forth, okay? It's straight, okay? The only things that are moving are my arms. Now, it, it might change for flow, depending on what type of flow you're doing, but even with flow, your T form needs to stay the same the entire time, okay? So, again, practice it slow. Get your T form down. Flex your core, get those sharp stops, then increase speed. Okay? Alright guys, hopefully that video helped. Let's go over the three steps. Okay, first you're gonna do repetition, repetition, okay? Try out the same movement, same segment over and over again until everything is down packed so, so you can do it in your sleep and then you're going to increase the speed gradually okay next making sure your t-form is down packed okay and with, that, with, with every other movement make sure, making sure you understand where your hand placement needs to be okay making sure your bearing and all that is good and but first and foremost no matter what the move is do it slow Get it down pat, get that sharpness there, get your body control in check, and then once you have done that move over and over again, then you can increase the speed gradually. So, a little slow, a little bit faster. Okay, now, now, again, now again once you get that muscle memory down packed and, and controlling of your body and and all that then you can increase the speed okay because you don't because speed without control without sharpness it just looks sloppy and you're bound to drop it so remember remember all these steps practice it repetition repetition that's all it's going to take guys and it might take a couple of a few years before you get really really good but it is possible okay thank you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial uh hope you guys enjoy the fitness footage I had in it, but leave a comment down below, let me know what else you want to know, uh, or else you want to see on this channel.